everybody. Natalie here with All Four Paws of West Palm Beach. And tonight I wanted to talk about um, a very relevant subject in the dog behavior world. I wanna talk about separation anxiety tonight. And I'm gonna break this video down into two parts. Um, tonight I'm gonna to talk um, a lot about what separation anxiety is and what we can do about it. And then the next part of the video I am going to film with my buddy Jake and I'm gonna go over some of the humane ways that we can help our dogs be less anxious, more relaxed, and start to extinguish some of those undesirable behaviors and build more confidence and calmness in our dogs. So separation anxiety, it, it occurs when the dog is alone, when the person leaves and the destruction and the anxious behaviors are coming up when the dog is being left alone. Um, it can manifest in a lot of different ways. Um, some dogs, it's excessive barking, whining, pacing, panting, things like that. Some dogs uh, destroy property, baseboards, doors, um, window treatments, shoes, couches, you know, furniture, things like that. And it is really difficult for the human to experience too, to feel bad for your dog, to worry about them. Um, to be frustrated by coming home to things being, you know, broken, destroyed, neighbors maybe complaining and, and, and that sort of thing. It also is really uncomfortable for the dog to experience, to be at that level of nervousness and anxiousness, um, to have a racing heart. Um, the reason why dogs choose to chew and, and destroy things is because they are seeking the dopamine release that occurs from chewing. And dogs don't know the difference between what's okay to chew and what's not okay to chew. That's something that we teach dogs. When their anxiety is so high, sometimes that kind of goes out the window and their desire to calm themselves um, supersedes maybe their, you know, their knowledge of chew this, don't chew that. Um, also, I, I want to really focus on humane ways to help our dogs be more calm and less anxious. And there are ways to counter condition behaviors, desensitize things, um, you know, reward the behaviors of, of calmness, show the dog that being calm and relaxed is what equals, you know, the opportunity to go out for a walk or um, to go for a car ride or just to learn that if you're getting ready to leave, it doesn't mean they need to panic. Um, that sometimes you take them with you and sometimes you don't and the dog doesn't have to get really anxious about it. Um, practicing impulse control training with dogs, counter conditioning and desensitizing, as I mentioned, are great ways to help reduce these undesirable anxious behaviors. Also setting your dog up for success is very important. So that's something that I talk a lot about in my videos as a dog trainer. And setting your dog up for success means different things in different situations. So in this particular situation, um, each case is very different with separation anxiety. However, overall, we can set our dogs up for success to be more likely to be calm by providing mental stimulation, physical exercise, um, you know, a happy home life, and the right environmental situation for the dog when you do leave. So things such as if you know you're leaving for a long day of work, making sure to exercise your dog, whether that's playing a long game of fetch, um, taking them for a long walk or a jog, whatever is appropriate for your dog and your lifestyle to provide that physical exercise and that physical drain for your dog. You know, a tired dog is a happy dog. They're less likely to be anxious if they're tired. They're less likely to be destructive if they're tired. And then mental stimulation is another very important piece of the puzzle that sometimes gets left out. You know, we, we live with these very intelligent creatures that, you know, they're not satisfied by just being in the confinements of our home. They do need to have um, opportunities to have mental stimulation. So there's some really wonderful games that you can make yourself or you can purchase. Um, things that involve thinking for your dog, providing hard chew bones to offer the dog that dopamine release from chewing that does relax them, 
uh, Kong filled with peanut butter or cream cheese, kibble, carrots, things for them to, to actively do while you're gone so that they're not just sitting there. And then the feeling of, you know, being separated from the person or being alone or the nervousness isn't going to overpower if they have outlets for these things, appropriate outlets, appropriate things to chew, um, calming music. Research does indicate that having classical music playing for your dog in the background can help them relax. So there's lots of nice things we can do to help our dogs. And um, I'm excited to share this information with you to hopefully help you with your relationship with your dog. Or maybe you'll end up sharing my video with somebody that you know that's dealing with separation anxiety with their dog. So I look forward to seeing you all in part two of this video where I'm going to go over some of the things we talked about today and show you a live demo with Jake where I'm um, going to show you what the behavior looks like and how you can respond to it to get to your goals. So thanks for tuning in to me tonight and listening. Um, feel free to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, share it with someone if it might help them, and um, tune in, subscribe so you can get all my great videos with the information and uh, part two to this one as well. So thanks everybody, see you soon.